Hi everyone, I am Anuja. Welcome to my first YouTube video. And as you all guessed, this is one of the you know most important questions that all the beginners ask me. I must have been asked this question over 2000 times that which dryer do I use? And these are some of the dryers that I have and today I am going to show you the differences between all of them and I'm going to make exactly the same thing with all of them to see how they work. I hope you like the video. I'm going to use these Nara swatch cards to uh, try them out. So the first one that I'm going to show you is this one. It's um, unnamed brand from Amazon. It's a Chinese brand and it's for 300 bucks. It um, comes from like Nova or Belda Nova and those kind of names and sometimes it's pink in color, sometimes it's blue in color. The only problem with this one is that it doesn't work for long duration so you need to have 2-3 dryers or they break down very fast as well. But very good dryer for this price like less than 300 rupees, very very good for beginners. So I really love this one actually and I use it for almost everything and I still have like 4 or 5 of these. The next one is by Philips. This is a 1000 watt travel hair dryer. So look for a travel hair dryer which is compact in size and I prefer to use this for bigger surfaces because this is slightly more powerful than the previous one. So on larger surfaces it makes the job faster rather than this one because this one is quite slow and this one is very fast. So you just have to figure out where you are working and choose your dryer accordingly. So these three are actually hot air hair brushes. So they have like a brush at the top which I have removed. The top part of all of these has a brush which I have removed and these two are quite similar the first two and the third one is slightly more faster than the first two. Now this one has a small opening which is very convenient when you are working on smaller areas similar to this one as well. So let me just talk about each one of them one by one and this is this one is by Babyliss. So the first one is by Panasonic. This is a 600 watt hot air hair brush out of which I have removed the brush part and this is very convenient. This is from Beauty Sonic and this is exactly like the Panasonic one but I just trust the Panasonic ones more because it works at least for 30 hours, 30 minutes before it stops. So that's why and this is the Babyliss one. It is a 1000 watt hot air hairbrush. It also has a cool setting and I prefer to use it on larger surfaces because this has more pressure than the other two. So let's get started. So the first one that I'm going to use is this one from you know unnamed brand from Amazon and this is a swatch card from Nara. I will put some alcohol on it in the middle part. And I will use my two favorite colors, Nara, Gulabi and um, and which is the other one, the Nara, Navy Silk. I have used approximately two drops of each and I am just putting some more alcohol and let's just watch how it dries. So this is how it looks, wonderful lines, very neat, very easy to handle. 
so don't give up on this dryer this is actually one of the best dryers that I have ever used very very good to work with absolutely stunning very beautiful dryer very beautiful effects and just give it a try it's wonderful so the next one that I'm going to try is the Philips one thousand watt travel hair dryer this is again another favorite dryer of mine I use it very regularly on large surfaces it has slightly more pressure than the one that you just saw so you will have to hold the paper when you're working on a small surface like this so just be careful about that because the paper will start flapping if it is small so just be a little careful again the same two drops of color on both the sides and let's see how that goes so just check this out again brilliant lines very thin and sharp lines as well by this Philips travel hair dryer slightly harder to control but still it's not like it cannot be done with this amazing work with Philips as well so the next one that I'm going to try is the beauty sonic one actually the spelling is wrong it's B F A U T Y sonic so some fake brand it is but it works very well for alcohol ink art I am not sure how it works for the hair but for uh, alcohol ink it's quite good so let's see how this one goes I'm plugging it in now and I'm taking out another swatch card so due to the heat of the dryer I see that my surface has raised slightly the cutting board but let's see so I'm using again the same two colors and so because of the surface which has raised from that part because of the heat of the dryers my ink is flowing down but that's okay let me just do it very quickly yeah. so as you can see it is quite easy to control this as well so check this out isn't it beautiful again very beautiful lines amazing work with this dryer it's absolutely perfect for lines and very easy to control as well so the next one that I'm going to try is the one that you see me using most often on Instagram is the Panasonic one the only reason I use it so much is because it is very very dependable and it doesn't switch off while I'm working but again if I'm working for a longer duration this does switch off after about 30 minutes or so so it has to cool down but at least it's still working and it has not you know given me any trouble as of now so as you can see my board has raised a little bit because of the heat from all the dryers anyways I'll work on a little you know away from that side it's okay so again exactly the same thing few drops of isopropyl alcohol two drops of colors each okay three drops this time maybe and some more alcohol and again quite easy to control the ink because the pressure is slightly lower than the other dryers
so just look at this again i got similar results very nice lines thin and beautiful lines with this panasonic hair dryer very beautiful next the last one that i'm going to try is the babyless one it's most powerful dryer that i have out of all the ones that i um, that i own so this is a thousand watt dryer and when you're working with this you need to hold the paper quite properly because this will blow out a lot of air so you have to be a slightly careful if you're working on small sheets of paper but if you're working on bigger surfaces it won't create any problems or maybe on a ceramic tile or an acrylic then again this will not create any problems but since the swatching sheet is very small it might flap with the pressure of this dryer and it also has a cool setting at the top so maybe you can try that although i haven't used that cool setting at all so again three drops of navy silk and three drops of gulabi by nara and as you can see the paper is flapping a little bit so i have to hold it um, in a very controlled way so that it doesn't fly away also i have to hold the dryer a little further away than the other ones so that it doesn't put so much pressure on the ink so look at this again similar kind of results very beautiful lines and not so difficult to control if you hold it as you know slight distance from the paper so i really like this one as well for larger surfaces let me just take all of them out and put them in front of you so you can see that there is actually not a lot of difference between uh, these dryers and they perform quite similarly it's all about learning how to control the dryer that you have so don't think that you know you're not able to do something because your dryer is not right maybe some dryers that are you know good for hair might not be good for alcohol ink cart but i showed you quite a few of them today you might have you know a travel dryer like the philips one or a basic dryer so just try with that first before you decide to buy more dryers like me <laughs> so out of all these the best one for hair is the babyless one in case you want to try for your hair and rest all of them are no good for your hair so as you can see all the swatches look almost similar to me there is absolutely no difference i am going to share a picture of this on instagram and you guys will see so out of all these i would say that the basic uh, you know the cheaper one is quite good out of all of these and um, all of them have their own purpose and they all work so there is none of them that don't work so don't think that the one that you have doesn't work and uh, this one is the most powerful one so use it only on bigger surfaces and this one again is also more powerful than the other ones um apart from that all i have to say is it is just a myth that the dryer will you know decide the results but that is not the case so i hope you enjoyed my first youtube video do like and subscribe and follow me for more such interesting videos in future thank you so much for watching the video see you again soon thank you